COVID already, just 10 days into the school year. It's not great. No. But none of that matters to these people. And for the last month or so at school board meetings, uh, they've been... The people running the school boards, they've been trying to figure out and uh, putting a good faith effort into uh, figuring out the impossible task of getting all the kids back in the classroom, but also not creating daily super spreader events. Not possible, but they're giving it a shot and they've held school board meetings for this and shit has just gone completely off the rails. Just go on YouTube or Twitter or TikTok and just type in school board masks. and You'll be treated to hundreds of hours of absolute madness. But you don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. Here's just a few examples, though, for you uh, that I found around the internet. And again, this is all just from the past month. These are our kids, not yours! We are yours! Actions have consequences. If you vote for this, we will come for you in a non-violent way. I'm going to tell you that your time is up. The people of the state and this district are rising up, and you have awakened a sleeping beast. We know who you are. 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 These are demonic entities, and we need to stick together. Remember, we have authority in Christ Jesus. These are demonic entities, and all the school boards of all the United States of America, and all of us Christians will be sticking together to take them all out. The deep state medical establishment wants all of us to be depopulated. I know you guys think that's a conspiracy theory, but it's not. It's a conspiracy fact. They're all in cahoots with each other to depopulate us. This is a hoax, okay? We're sick of it, we're sick of it, we're sick of it. People that are fearful and worried and concerned, they should stay home and stay safe. Maybe the reason why we have people in the hospitals all this mask wearing, did we ever think of that? Did we ever think of that? There are these books that I have, and I have them as a gift for you. The Constitution and the Declaration of Independence the Bill of Rights, and the Federalist Papers, and also the Bible. And these guarantee my freedom and yours and our children's to breathe Time. oxygen. Masks don't work. These doctors that sit up here that were sneering at us and looking at us like we're scumbags, they need to go back to fucking medical school. Yeah. And this is manufactured because we are going down the Marxist agenda here. You've, I'm 70 years old. I used to see pictures of communist Chinese children all in mass, all stepping to the drummer. That's what this is all about, Marxism. I want to talk about the real pandemic, child sex trafficking. By putting masks on these kids' face, you can't identify any of them. I'm asking you to implement a temporary mask mandate at least until every student has had the opportunity to be vaccinated against COVID-19. They don't care about your children. As a matter of fact, they hate them. They hate your kids. They hate my kids. They hate your kids. They hate my kids. Get it? But we've had to pay them for this last year to stay home with all of their benefits, okay? Because they are fearful that they might get a germ from a child. And when my child is told that they have to put something on their face or get a vaccine when they don't want to or something in their body that they don't feel comfortable with, to me that's being raped. And that's how I feel. And you should not be raping our children with masks or vaccines. And everybody's taking notes, buddy. Natural immunity is best. You are all demonic entities. Me, you are going you, to be you, taken down. Me, the You've Lord already had your 99.9 live through this flu, especially the kids, and the data proves that too. Science and laws shouldn't be changing so fast. Has Nuremberg taught us nothing of medical tyranny in the past? And because we're headed towards a world war war, a world war. Afghanistan has fallen, Kabul, the Iranians, the Chinese, the Russians. How are we going to prepare the young people to go to war and defend the country if they're worried about this? 